and subscribe below. For all you haters that don't like it, keep on watching, but keep your negativity to your damn self. With that being said, let's go ahead and get this party started. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial or a video today on sharing my experience with going down to Mac and picking up some samples. And <clears throat> first off, I went down and I got some concealer and some foundation and I got these little tiny mini samples. Uh, you're allowed, I believe, three samples per visit, I guess. But um, I went and got the MAC Pro Long Wear. This is the concealer in the shade NW25. And then I got two different shades of the Studio Sculpt Foundation. One in NC30 and one in NC37. So, also I'm going to be using these three elf four elf brushes maybe I'll just use these three but I just picked these up from Walmart the other day they were like a dollar and twelve cents each and I'll be using probably my real technique setting brush just to set the under eyes with some uh, derma blend professional loose setting powder so let's go ahead and open up this is my the pro long wear concealer Let's just dab that on there. And I'm using my video as a mirror. So I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's just go ahead and get that in there and get started. And I prefer to use my finger at first to put it on. Just because it's um, the heat from your finger allows it to maybe blend or smooth in, absorb into the skin a lot easier than I find a brush does. So, and I also put it a little here just to get that dark inner corner. And that was one of my main concerns was I have very dark circles and under eyes. Put a little too much there. But let's just go ahead and keep on applying. I think one of the things that is so funny is the faces that you make when you're doing this. Uh, sometimes it cracks myself up, and I do have really big, baggy under eyes, and I've had these all my life. So I really don't think that there's anything I can do about it. You know, they say everybody has baggage. Well, I got a lot of baggage, so. <laughs> Go ahead and just apply that. I think I'm gonna do a little up under the eye as well because you can see I have a, a lot of redness and darkness all around my eyes. And I'm gonna try to make this a quick video it's just an everyday, natural, men's makeup, no makeup, makeup look, I guess. Let's try to blend that out a little more with this brush, just to see how that works. Uh, get right under the under eye. Blend it out. The more you blend it, the more natural it's going to look. So. I have a lot of elasticity in my skin. As you can see, it's already covering up a lot. And I've tried several, several concealers. I have a little drawer here. Uh, there's some NYX, Studio FX. Here's one from H&M, the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel this all work pretty good. Um, Pro Mac Pro Longwear is definitely my favorite because it definitely gives the most natural look without having that cakey feel to it. And 
my second choice would be the studio um, Smashbox studio I really like that one as well they're both a little more liquidy in the consistency than the NYX or the Tarte Shape Tape. And I also have the um, Makeup Revolution that I'm going to try. I can actually feel this. It's gotten pretty dry. So actually, I don't think I'm going to need a uh, setting powder. That did get rid of a lot. One of the things was it had a lot of um, gray tones to it. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, the gray tones. So, let's go ahead and just put on a second coat and see what that does. See if it helps cover it up a little more. This was the shade NW25. I went down and got matched. Uh, the lady, I believe her name was Taylor. She was really nice. And I had actually went back a second time. And I purchased this. I'm using my sample, but I actually purchased, the, purchased one because I liked it so much. Go ahead and blend that right up to the eyebrow. Now it's looking a little white, uh, a little crazy, but it does oxidize a little bit. Let's go ahead and get the other eye. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off. I'm just like holding my brush there. And this is one of my very first makeup tutorials or get ready with me, I guess, videos, vlog. Um, not too much of a chatty one. We'll get into that more later on. So as you noticed, it did set pretty quickly. Um, and you can see here, it's already starting to oxidize, so it's not as bright and yellow as it was in the beginning. I do have a little on my eyelids, um, my eyelashes. I can just wipe that off with a wipe later. But I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just blend out the edges a little bit. And I'm being a little rough, um, it's nothing too special, I'm just trying to apply it on there. So, I'm not liking that area there, I'm going to go ahead and add a little tiny bit more to these lines here. See how that works out. I just took it off and then I just placed it back in my eye. It's a little hard with this um with this setup. I'm using my cell phone and I'm also using it as a mirror. So there is a little tiny bit of a delay and like I said before, this is my very first video. 
so bear with me, you all get the point, but what, what I'm trying to say or get the message across is you don't have to go out and spend 50 or $75 to get some good high-end um, makeup. If you want to try it out, you know, go, go on down there and ask for some samples. It doesn't hurt. You know, I've heard of people having, like, um, incidences where they have uh, a service provider that's not very friendly or whatever. But in my case, I've been very lucky and I've had very nice um, people help me out down there. So I've had a good experience with them so far. So now we're going to go in with the studio sculpt in the shade. N37, and it was a little, um, it was a little separated, and so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this here, a little on my nose, it's just going to help blend in this area where the, uh, concealer stops and, uh, natural skin begins, so. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all in there. And get it around your nose where you get the dark or the redness areas. A little bit underneath. But yeah, my main thing with the foundation is you want it to help blend in so that the concealer is not so prominent around your face. So here. I've seen people like even put it on their ears, which I find if you're going out maybe at night for a look, you'd want to do that. But for right now, we're just doing a quick little demo Trying to cover up some of these little imperfections, maybe just give yourself a, you know, a little more consistency in the color of your skin. So, I'm just about going to finish this up here. I'm just applying it basically like I would any uh, moisturizer or lotion. Just to get it all over the skin there. Let's do a little tiny bit right above the eyebrows. Okay, so I think that looks pretty actually go ahead and put it on top of your concealer as well and that will have you more even of a uh, not flawless finish but a so you can still see my lines underneath my eyes but I think it looks a lot better than it did the darkness is definitely gone it makes my lips look a lot redder than they normally are but I'm suffering from dryness right now the winter's pretty harsh and I have about one minute left because now I'm only allowed 15 minutes uh, per video on my YouTube station so I was gonna go ahead and set my under eyes really quick just to keep it from creasing You could also use a colored powder or a colored foundation and that would give you even a little more coverage. But for this look, I think that's about all. 